Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Backyard Bandits. So we've got all the mechs except for the Victor repaired today. Uh, all the pilots are back. I went ahead and sped some points on the pilots. We had a bunch of XP that I spent. Uh, the biggest increase is um, Hopper getting his tactics to 9. Um, increased his, well, sorry, increased his view distance to plus 50, which is kind of nice for the missile systems. And I think that was it. Oh, uh, there was an encounter. Um, and Queen Bee picked up Lost Tech experience, which is kind of cool. So whatever Lost Tech gear she's got on, she'll get a bonus to hit with it. So that's kind of cool. Um, but other than that, um, yeah, we're just sort of saving up XP right now. Uh, nobody gained anything major. Um, Swift go. is getting pretty darn close to getting uh, Warlord. So what I might do today, we're going to take a, a base defense mission again. It's the last one I want to take in this system before we jump. Um, so my thought was to pull together a bunch of pilots that need just a little bit of experience um, to to get their next um, skill level up. So uh, guys like, uh, where is he here? Um, like Swift. Um, I think Queen B can use some. She's just about at the next level, either gunnery or tactics, most likely to be gunnery. Um, I think Arachne needs a little bit more, so she'll be in... So it's pretty much going to be the main lance with the exception of maybe, maybe we'll bring, yeah, I mean, Focus is still, he needs a, he's a fair bit away, but Jaws can definitely use experience. Um, how close is Squire? We spent Squire's points, so it'll be Swift, our main lance, and Jaws, I think. So those are the guys we'll take today. So uh, let's go ahead. It's a four skull mission. Um, but it's really good payment and max salvage. Now I think because we got good, or not max salvage, but good salvage, because it's so high, it says here that it's normally protected by automated turrets, so there might not be any other defenses other than turrets. So it just might be, which I think is good. I mean, that's perfect for us. Uh, but it's against the Federated Sun, so I'm hoping to pick up some good gear here. It's a Martian environment, should be fun. Um, let's see how we do. So we're gonna go uh, max salvage, except um, so, uh, let's flush out. Swift's going to go in the second lance here. Oops, we wanted to leave Jaws in. Oh, wait, sorry. Uh, oh, my God, what am I doing here? Um, so, Swift is this guy, right? The X-Pulses in the MRM. Correct. So, Swifty, where are you, buddy? Um, here you go. Oh, it doesn't load into the one you're in already. Oh, that's interesting. I just double clicked it and it didn't go into this particular lance. It just goes to the back to the main lance. Okay, let's get Jaws back. Now he was using this mech. Yeah, whatever. Um, go back. Uh, so let's get our main lance in here. Uh, you, you, you and you and let's get our pilots in here um you and you and there uh where's arachne here you are and queen bee all right let's do this Command interface initiated. all right let's do this thing all right uh are there supposed to be turrets guarding this place there should be why not seeing any turret power, because there's never any turret power when we get to a base. Come on! It's going on in the meantime, the commander, let's keep the enemy away from that base. You got it. Uh, are these our Black Knights? They must be. Our turrets have been disabled by sabotage. Well, now there's a surprise. Yeah, no kidding, eh? Team of engineers that command you. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll keep them alive, don't worry. All right, we just need to figure out where the enemy is. Um, doesn't appear we've got any sensors on. And I don't think... Have I played a base defense on this one before? I may have, but I don't remember. All right, we're going to close back to the base. Close ranks up on the base here if we can. Let's get you back there. Now, Arachne, I can't remember. I think I spent... No, we're saving up... I gave her gunnery 9, did I? Did I? Uh, 
I thought I gave her her skill rank, rank her skill rank maybe improved to nine because of the um, because of her cockpit. But I was saving up for um, I'm saving up for uh, rank nine in tactics. Ooh, they're over there. Saving. Ooh, what's this guy? Nidhog. Um, because I want to get the super ac super accuracy. Um, I'm going to play this. Let's just walk up here. We're going to do what we did before. We're just going to walk, keep our stability. Because we can't do anything yet. Uh, so this is the Conquistador. Now we want to flank these guys, I think. Uh, let's get let's get the Whacker up here. Mm, let's not crest the hill yet. Let's stay here. No sweat. And the Conquistador... We'll push a little bit with the Conquistador, I think. Move into position. All right. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Okay. Um, so I was on the my uh, son had to go for an MRI last night. Um, Talk to me. So I was in the car and I was reading Discord, and I mean, a second here, Warrior. These all choppers, Nidhog, Nidhog. And another warrior. Okay, that should be an easy kill. Um, so anyway, I was reading the, the uh, Rogue Tech Discord, and apparently they've got the alpha out now for the next. Well, I don't know if it's called the next version, but it basically is with the. Um, uh, I want to switch to Artemis for these guys, and save the incendiary for any mechs that might come down the road. So anyway, yeah, the Discord said that the uh, they're they're running. I guess people he's, they've got certain people testing out the alpha for the next version, which has all the vehicles and stuff in it, which is pretty cool. Uh, Eighteen percent, eh? I wonder if we should just focus or just kill this guy. Let's just straight up murder this guy and get him off the map. So. Um, once the vehicle uh, upgrade um, hits, I want to start a new series with that. Um, but I want I'm going to have it, uh, and I'm going to reveal kind of what I was, what I've been planning. Um, I'm going to have a tactical map, and what I mean by that is I want to kind of do a campaign where um, we're actually fighting on a planet, um, and we're fighting like the 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 groups that uh, will be. Um, Involved will be fighting to take over the planet. So I'm gonna kind of want to want to have like a a planetary map um, and clear objectives and what we need to do based on the missions that are available on that planet. Um, so that's my goal. Now, most likely, what I'll end up doing is I'll probably have to like jump systems to find more missions and say we're on the same planet. But it's all going to be based on the the planetary tactical map that we're going to have. Um, I think we're going to go this way. I'm going to focus on this one Nidhogg and get rid of it, I think. Yeah, we're going to go on this guy and see if we can get rid of him before he does anything. Oh, we got 17 of them, eh? Come on, you guys. Two turns to get up there, eh? So that's my thought, anyway, is to have that set up so that... Um, it's like we're taking the planet, right? Receiving you. I'll have like unit icons and stuff showing you where everybody is and what they're doing yeah. and um, most likely I'm gonna start off, like I, I said I was gonna start off with a couple of like lances but most likely it'll end up being three um, but they'll be all part of the same unit but they'll all be off doing different things, they'll be fighting in different areas and stuff, right? And um, Sorry. so for the starts Oh yeah, nice. Move her down. So for the start, um, I'm probably going to have, um, like, I want to I want to utilize the multiple. Um, let's get you. Let's not sprint it. You don't need to sprint. Just move up here. However, we are going to sensor lock. Should reduce that by one. Sensors locked on. Beautiful. 
Um, so I'm gonna have. Yeah. Well, at least my thought was is to have. I'm showing minor damage. And once again, this will be a non-cannon. Um, a non-cannon fight. So, or non-cannon series, so it's not going to really follow 100% the Battletech universe. But the idea is, is it's going to be after the main clan invasion. Um, and the clan Smoke Jaguar at some point gets pretty much decimated. Commander. So the idea is that, um, let's get into here. On it. The idea is that the main lance um, in this are um, freeborn um, sm smoke jaguar warriors Reporting. Enemy as the freeborn smoke jaguars were basically treated like garbage um, compared to the uh, I'm not even going to move what's the point of moving um, How can I help? not treated like garbage but they were considered inferior to the to the um, trueborns right let's fire on this guy See ya. So anyway, um, so the idea is that um, apparently there's a massive battle that happens at um, let's jump over here. We'll go. There's a massive battle that, ha that happens in Luthien in the Draconis Combine uh, between the drag the uh, smoke jaguars and um, I hear ya. the Draconis Combine. The jaguars get pretty much mauled and after that they're never really the same. I think their con dies, they go back to the home worlds I think. Um, and then they're, there's like fighting for a new con and stuff. But my idea is that um, after that battle there's a group of freeborns and um, a group of um, like merchant slash science ca cased um, as well. like. Yeah. Um, who are like you, you know either part of the supply train or the support forces or whatever um, and after the after that battle they decide okay that's it you know we're done with this you know we're going rogue and they basically go rogue they grab the Argo it's a well I'm just gonna say it's like a uh, um, it's a what what's it called um, a merchant vessel originally um, and they basically bug out Let's get up here. Like this guy says, he's bugging out. So they bug out. But um, so there's, there'll be one lance or one star of um, freeborn warriors. And there'll be, um, so the second lance is going to be um, a group of um, bondsmen that were that had been taken by smoke jaguar but they're all from um do i want to just reserve what do we got challenger missile artillery tank i think we need to get on that fast drillson um oh fulcrum so they must all be coming from the same area that could be wrong, but we should be fine, I think. All right, let's get over here. Uh, yeah, so the idea is that, um, you know, there's a, uh, a lance of bondsmen that were being used as rear line units. Um, Locking on. There's another guy over there, too. Um, anyways, there were a group of bondsmen. Reporting negative damage. And, um, and they decide to leave as well. They can't stay in the Draconis Combine, obviously, because they're fighting for Smoke Jaguar, so they're not going to be welcome back. So those two lances leave. I'm trying to figure out what the, what, what, what a third lance might be. Uh, if anything, it does, we don't necessarily need to start off with three. Could just start off with two and pick up one along the way, like mercenaries or something. Um, I haven't des quite decided yet, but that's the idea. Anyways, the idea is that they leave. There's a whole group of them. There's like, there's like, um, is this all vehicles? Oh, for crap's sake. Challenger Command Vehicle. We might get something good out of that. Anyway, it's brace over there. Orders. So the idea, anyway, will be that um, they've decided to 
Um, Roger. Full speed. Find a uh, planet to call their own. Move to the periphery. Now we don't have to like the actual uh, galaxy map. Not really important um, because I'm finding with this series like it, it's fun to be on the periphery because that's where these guys are from and that's what they do and this that and the other thing. But we're not getting the the, uh, the competition. I think I'd like to have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a Galatea start, um, which I think will give us a good option of different types of enemies to fight. But we're just going to say that um, those particular enemies, oh man, let's just go against the Efreet. Where is it here? Right here, right? Right here. There you are. Uh, let's try and take this guy down. I'm going to Warlord this though, just to get a little better chance to hit here. Come on. Right here. There you are. Target. So we'll have better enemy lances to fight. Now I'm not concerned about their um, Take that as a lesson. their um, affiliations at all. Um, because I'm going to just say that, you know, whatever lance we're fighting, regardless of whether it's pirates or whatever, they're just part of either planetary defense or whatever. We'll make up what it is as we go along. It's really the battles and the kind of tactical, like the, the planetary tactical map that I want to kind of get into. Um, what can I do for you? So that's the idea. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, I can certainly go ahead and play a straight up campaign, but, um, we're still going to be, you know, developing um, our own mercenary companies and stuff. It's just that we're, it's going to feel like it's like part of a larger whole, if that makes any sense. We'll feel like we're actually getting somewhere, uh, like militarily, like we're actually taking a planet um, and like taking control of it. We'll say we're taking a control of a, you know, a periphery world. And then we're going to move from there and um, begin taking over other worlds and establishing our own... Um, I don't want to say dynasty, but you know what I mean, like establishing our own um, uh, house in the middle of um, um, periphery space, I guess is the best way to describe it. But that's the idea. I mean, we'll, I mean, yes, we'll be low on units and stuff, but the idea is that we'll attract more mercenary units later on. Of course, and that will be represented in each of the kind of separate games that are running, the Draconis Combine game and the, uh, uh, the clan game. Um, it'll be represented in all the units that we begin to pick up. Like we, we, we hire mercenaries or we pick up mercenaries along the way, people in the periphery, you know, or we can say that if we, you know, defeat a pilot, um, like we take down a mech, let's say, and the pilot bails out, then, you know, there's an option for that pilot. Like we just pick one up, pick up a pilot in the, uh, in the, um, stop shooting that guy. Pick up a pilot in the, uh, um, mercenary, um, um, you know what I'm saying? We, we can pick up a pilot on the planet and when we reconstruct the mech, they, that pilot will go in that mech and we'll say that's the pilot that we that we took down, they ejected. We give them their mech back, they've joined us. That That's the kind of thing I want to kind of go with. Give it a little bit more flavor, a little bit more interest. Um, but we'll see how it goes. I mean, that, that's the kind of thing I really like and that's, you know, the, the story aspect of the game, I think is kind of missing unless you create your own story. That's the thing I liked about the tabletop is that you 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 kind of create your own story and you kind of do your own thing and Oh, he hit the, did he hit his own guys? I guess he did. Or is that our turrets? That's our turrets. Um but yeah, so that's my thought. Uh, let, let me know what you guys think. Um because even if everybody says, like if everybody turns to me and says, you know what, I, I hate that, I'll never watch that or whatever, I, I, I know that won't be the case, but if everybody even said that, I would just do it, I, I'd kind of create my own and do it uh, offline anyway. Well, yeah. at least we got their sniper team up here. Um, and I'll just, I'll just do another regular playthrough, that's fine, it doesn't matter to me. Um, like I said, I'm going to be playing this game regardless, so let's get on this side, I think. Um, because we've got artillery that's like shooting at our own guys here. I'm going to go this route though. Let's go Phantom Mech and jump into here. Roger that. Okay, let's shoot up this guy. Wow, not doing much there, eh? Um, we have something good we can hit here with a, uh, the barrage. Can't target a barrage on that guy, which is kind of weird. You think 
Ah, eh, whatever. Ifrit, we could go after this guy. We might get a kill on him if we get his... Yeah, let's go on this guy and see if we can kill him. Engaging target. Nope. Good damage, though. He's panicking. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. Um, and I, I'm, I'm also open to entertaining other ideas, too. Because it'll be nice, like, once we get the vehicles and stuff into play, um, it'll be nice to kind of have that um, feeling where it's like, a, you know, okay, your, your main mechs are taking this part, but then you're sending your vehicles or a lighter lance off to do something else while they're doing that. Or they're reconning an area for the heavy lance to come in later. That kind of thing. It kind of a little bit more of a flavor and I'll kind of build a story around it. Um, I've got your back. I already kind of know what I want to do for the map. I got icons and everything I want to use for it and stuff to kind of, you know, give it some, give it a good look. Um, what do we want to go after here? Is this the stealth bomber? That's the stealth bomber. I think we want to target this guy. I don't think we should switch to uh, incendiary though. I think we should stay with a better chance to hit and just um, fire at this guy. Got 16 of them, but we still exposed the structure. Beautiful. So anyway, yeah, that's kind of what I'm hoping to do. I want to get... Um, I want to get your opinions on it, though. Because um, I'm actually, I'm, as I'm think, thinking here, too, like, I could even start, like... Um, I could even start, like, games offline and play offline. And then once they get to a point where I think we could add them, you know, like... Like work towards getting like a uh, an offline group that's just like all vehicles, right? And then we'll play a match where it'll be like you know we've you know we've got a bunch of recruits, uh, or we've picked up a uh, you know uh, a local government unit decided to join us and it's all vehicles and then we had this vehicle fight or something. And it doesn't like we wouldn't be doing that like every second or third episode or whatever. It would be like a one-time thing, maybe every ten or fifteen episodes or something where it's just something different, you know. Um, but that's, anyway, I got lots of ideas. It's just, the t it's taking the time and sitting down to do it. Um, but now that the, the new version is like coming out, I could, I'm just totally getting hyped about it. The fact that they're, they're working on this vehicle, uh, updated all is just like just amazing for me. So, all right, let's target this guy. Uh, we want to do sensor lock first though. Get some sensor lock going. Oh, he's outside the range. Damn it. But you're not. So we're going to hook up you because we want to take this guy down this turn too. I've got a sensor lock. And then let's just tab through our enemies here. We've got this. Yeah, let's just go straight in this guy. We're going to overheat here, but I'll, we'll be fine. Yeah, two hit. Nice. But then what I can do is like I'll, I can set up like... Um, you know, a military sheet, like a military card, um, to show like our or our order of battle. So, you know, when we're planning on taking a planet or whatever, or once we've once we've established our own home base, we'll have an order of battle and we'll say, okay, we've got this, we've got that. You know, this is this lance, this is that lance. You know, where are we gonna like? Where do we need to attack? That kind of thing, right? So this guy's not even gonna get into battle. So I think that'll kind of be cool too, right? We'll have to, you know, if we're planning on taking a planet, we'll like be like, okay, well, there's a city here, there's factories here, we need to take this and this. There's this kind of def we have a rough idea what the defense is, you know, and then we land and then we're just up against whatever the enemies are, right? Cool. Finish that guy off for me, guys. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's the fulcrum. Alright. Who's going first? Oh, the Ifrit. Ifrit. How can I help? Uh, let's try and kill this stealth bomber because I want it gone. If this thing gets close, it could be nasty. Let's just fire. Affirmative.
That should do it. Three rotor crits. Was a critical hit, lad. And didn't even take it down, really? Awaiting orders. Really? Well, she'll take it down. Here it comes. Affirmative. That should do it. Beautiful. Bomb rack, HE Enemy times two. Destroyed. That was what I was worried about, it dropping some bombs on us. Copy that. Yeah, right. you yeah, right. Should be able to finish this up quick, I think. If that's the case, if we can wipe, wipe these vehicles out fast here, we can probably take another mission. Um, let's just... Wow, right, we, we don't have any uh, heat sinking. Let's just brace. That'll keep your heat down. Our heat's already down. All right, let's get on this ifrit, ifrit, and we're firing the snub because screw him. That's a lot of SRMs, man. Bomb mines, bomb inferno, unidentified. Warlord, this. It's weird that the Federated Sons that we got all these um, basic lances from them. Ow. See ya. Reporting. Vehicle destroyed. Yeah, he's not surviving that gas strike. There's no way. All right, keep sprinting it, buddy. Got to get you up here as fast as possible. What can I do for you? All right, Swifty, let's get on these vehicles, buddy. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. You're a vehicle murderer. Let's get him. Let's go after this fulcrum. Ah, uh, well, maybe not. Let's go after the guy that we can hit for fairly well. Um, better chance to hit or more damage. Let's go after the more damage. Ooh, two pulse laser hits. I was hoping to have the pulse laser penned, that the extra little damage from the missiles might do uh, enough to uh, explode them, but we didn't even get through the armor. Yeah, so the goal of the next series will be, of course, to get the, uh, um, for the, for the uh, Clan Lance, anyway, the first thing for the upgrade for the Argo will be to take the uh, Junkyard Dropship, so we can be dropping five mechs at a time, because, of course, you, you know, they're going to have a star. For the, um, for the uh, uh, Bondsman, they'll be running four at a time. Um, and I'm going to try and hopefully get... Um, like it might not be a Draconis Combine start, it might be like a Comstar start, so it'll be like um, kind of older older rear line clan mechs I guess would be the best way to describe it I guess, I don't know, but I'm going to play around with um, with the uh, with the load ins, so when I'm actually starting and loading in, I'll see what kind of mechs we get, um, just so that it's kind of more reflective of what I think those uh, units would be And also to have some variation too. I don't want both lances to kind of be running the same things. Standing by. As much as you guys know that I love to keep things almost the same. Well, not the same, but I, I've got my play style. I want to try and get away from that. Really get into like different... Uh, um, and we'll just brace. A real different um, kind of play style. Yeah, oh, man, really? Can we... All right, we can see something from up here. Aye, aye. Probably just going to be the tag, though. Oh, we got the barrage, too. Ooh, let me shoot myself in the foot. That would be bad. Negative damage. Repeat. Negative damage. Where'd the barrage go? Out in the middle of next week, I guess. No idea. Yes, Commander. There you go. Yeah, this mech runs ridiculously hot. Okay, Typhoon, Urban Combat. Challenger Command. Alicorn. That's got a Gauss Rifle, I think. How close are we to killing this guy? Let's just tab through these here. 35% chance to hit. 83 against the Challenger Command. I guess it didn't move. We could soften that guy up. 
Wow, 73 on this guy too, eh? 788, 172, 160. So it's a lot of, well, not a lot, but a fair amount of armor. 320, this guy's got a lot of armor though. We might get lucky though and just pen the side and kill this guy. Uh, let's go full heat. There you go. Wow, that was a little overkill. Look at that turret flying. It's awesome. I hear you. Yeah, I love the idea, like, you know, of having, you know, certain mechs piloting their own mech. Like, they own the mech, so they stay in the same mech all the time. You know, so that's what the units will be. And then when we get new mechs, like I said, we may just keep the, I mean, we'll be upgrading mechs as we go. But, like, the new pilots and stuff that we get will be, like guys that we've hired on with a mech kind of thing so if we take the, a mech as salvage then that pilot will be the owner of that mech if that makes any sense ah, a little bit he's panicking though makes it harder for him to hit when he's panicking keep shooting them guys keep shooting them Um, who are we gonna? Let's just drop. What's the uh, what's the ch oh the alicorn's out of range, huh? Sixteen percent on this guy, hey. Well, let's change that and make it lower because it's always better for the minefields if you hit the lower chance you hit. Apparently, so we're gonna sprint over here. Actually, we're going to sprint into the Squirrely, so it's even harder for us to hit. That should drop it. Yeah, 11. That's not bad. I'm just going to drop it here. We'll get a little bit of damage on him. But we'll get a lot more when he moves. Yeah, so, you know, and, and you know, it, it'll be interesting because we'll have inter interesting and distinct personalities, and then... You know, if for whatever reason some of the encounters that we get, you know, a pilot is dissatisfied or whatever, we can say that they leave. And if they leave, right, depending, right, we'll have to sell the mech, right, because they leave with the mech. So if, the, if we say a pilot leaves, then they leave with the mech and we lose a mech, right? We'll just have to see how it goes. I don't know. Um, it's going to be a weird kind of balance because if you're running two series side by side and you say they're all working together they don't they can't share equipment which is I don't know we'll see how it goes but I want to try and make sure that both sides get upgraded similarly uh, so the similar Argo upgrades with the exception of the the uh, bonus dropship because um, the bonus dropship is really just means that th the leopard that we have has an extra mech slot because I think the leopards are supposed to have I think leopards are supposed to have four mech slots and two vehicle slots but I think the clan ones were set up to have wow let's just shoot them uh, the clan mech the clan leopards were set up I think to have um, five mechs and a point of elementals, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So that's why I think, you know, for the clan part of it, there'll be a um, an extra mech that we can drop. But for the uh, the bondsman part, there won't be. On you, Commander. And that might change. Like we may have it so that you know maybe the bondsman part they drop two vehicles or something. But we'll try and keep everything matched between the like all of the series and anything new that comes in. Um, so if we have new lances coming in, I'll try and keep them matched as well. Come on. Alright. Oh, you got him. Beautiful. Pallet ejected. Nice. So that's the kind of thing, right? Where like, you know, in that case the pilot ejects, and if we pick up vehicle pieces, then you know, we'll say, oh, he ejected, but I've got your back. You know, in the end, we offer him a job, and he and you know he signs on with us, right? Let's drop some more mines on this guy. 
Just because I have them and I, I don't know. We're on round eight. We gotta take that command vehicle. Yeah, we gotta get the command vehicle now. Awaiting orders. All right, Arachne. Um, get up here. On the move. Now, are they in range for sensor lock? Oh, they're just outside. Damn it. Well, we gotta fire on this guy. Firing. Ooh, four hits. Yeah, I can't wait to get her. Um, they're gonna reserve because we want to keep eyes on. Yes, Commander. I can't wait to get her uh, tactics up one more so that we can do uh, called Not shots and almost always hit the location we want. I think we can only hit with the uh, tag. Yeah. Engaging. Ooh, we got it too. Nice. Anyway, yeah, I've, I've kind of been really excited about starting the, like a new series with vehicles. And I know there's been several people, I think they've, they've, there's been several playthroughs and stuff showing the, how the vehicles work. Now, I haven't got a chance to look at any of those yet. I kind of want to, you know me, I like I like to be surprised. So I just kind of want to wait and see On the move. what it looks like, you know. And be surprised and enjoy it when I first start it. Alright, let's, um, yeah. Got it. Well, thanks for showing up. You'll be getting the same experience as everybody else, so that's... We're okay with that. Now, I think that... Did that command vehicle say it had two clan Gauss rifles? It's like an almost... It had two ballistic... It said two ballistic. Okay, uh, we're going to get her to reserve again. Because I'm going to have the turret shoot. Apply some damage. Ah, we better. We got to gonna have to go now because otherwise we'll lose our turn. I think. Oh wait, does it say reserve again, or does it say end turn? It says reserve. We can go on one. Okay. Oh, that's all that's gonna. Yes, commander. Sure. You do you guys. All right, let's do vigilance so we can get some more initiative next turn. I don't know how well that's gonna turn out, but let's get into here. Lifting off. It's not going to give us much evasion, but we should go before them. Ooh, that's nice. Let's drop it like it's hot. Okay, barrage is on. That'll come in at the end of this turn. Nice. Does Arachne go first? No, Swifty goes first. What can I, do for you? I was going to say, wow, that's uh, reserved that long and then go first. Really? Max speed, no shooting. All right, buddy. Let's get on this command vehicle. Oh, uh, well, yeah, let's get the command vehicle. I want it gone. Because I want parts from this. That's a really good chance to hit. But then everybody else is going to be shooting at this guy, too. This guy's a little harder to see, I think. So let's go after this guy. Oh, yeah, everything hit. Shred him. Okay, he's panicking. Might bail out. Talk to me. All right, Hopper. What do we got on? Not Hydra. Wait, what? Where's the incendiary? There it is. So. Oh, okay, the click didn't work. That's interesting. Yeah, it's got two reg... I don't know if those are regular Gauss rifles or clan Gauss. I think they're regular. I thought it said clan, though. What you got left here? 28. 31. This guy's in the open, like I said before. This guy's not. So let's go ahead and Warlord this. And go after this guy. Might get lucky and kill him. Locked on target. Boss. Full speed, no target. Okay, so let's go on. That'd be a kill if we hit. What's this guy? Forty two. 
There we go. I knew we'd hit. <laughs> Vehicle trash. I knew we'd hit. Commander. Wait, how are you doing heat-wise? You're burning up here. Let's go on, um, main guy. This guy. Leave one ER large off. Fire the rest. Engaging. There you are. Did we get three? Oh, okay. I was gonna. Wow, well, look at the peace fly. I was gonna say, did we get three different locations? It looked like we hit three different locations. Uh, who do we got? Jaws. Ready for orders. Well, you're not doing much, are you? All right. Well, in case that guy moves in, you'll be able to see him. All right, we got a chance to kill this Alicorn next turn. Who's next? Oh, B. Um, if I move in, they're going to hit you, man. Let's reserve. Confirmed. Okay, that's our that's our that's our Artie. We're going to do vigilance again. So we got the uh, resolve. And now we can go ahead. Uh, let's go from... Well, back we got a better chance to hit. That's out of range. That's not. Affirmative. Let's go for a better chance to hit. This thing usually has three Goss rifles on it. Oh, it's got a heavy Goss. <gasps> I want it. Firing. Firing at enemies. Good damage. Now, if the uh, Rogue Tech guy, people are listening, I don't want to say guys, but people are listening, um, or the Rogue Tech crew, this should be a smoke screen after the original, when it's a drops. It should have one or two turns of smoke screen. So it should work for, um, like you can't fire through it unless um, you take a uh, negative. That's just my suggestion. Ready to run. Or even just one turn, right, where it's like heavy smoke, because you technically shouldn't be able to shoot through this now. All right, firing. All right, who's next? Waiting on you, Commander. Can you get? Oh, you can. Where is it? I think we're gonna go full out, though. Let's close the distance, because I got a feeling if we. Just outside of range, it could be a problem. This looks good. Should be able to wreck this guy. Good damage. Panicking. Orders. Yes, Commander. Let's get Earthquake on this. Get as close as we can. I don't think the snub is going to oh, be able yeah. to fire. But it's not bad. Yeah, I need to take the uh, AMS off this guy. Oh, a snub can fire. Oh, we're gonna do this though. Cause hitting Arachne would be bad. Or a Queen Bee, I mean. Oh yeah, nice hit. I should do it. Yes. Critical hit. There it is. Yeah. Mission successful. Alright, seven hundred and fifty one thousand. Look at that. Yeah, man. Beautiful. So that was some easy sea bills, which of course we, we we can always use the extra sea bills. Now, salvage. Did we look at all those AMS flares? AMS Mark II. Do we have? We've got one. Arrow one shots. Regular Goss rifles. Heavy Goss quantity two. Well, we're not going to say no to that. Light missile rack. Four ton bolts on one shot. Plus six accuracy against VTOLs. Meh. 60 damage though. HVAC. I'm going to go down here because I want to see. Look at all those XL engines. Holy crap. Heavy Goss ammo. How many rounds are in these though? Four shots only. SRM Artemis we don't need. We need MRM Apollo. Don't see any here. I think we should go for the XLs. Oh, guided arrow ammo though. 
You know, I complained about these all being vehicles, but damn, they had some good stuff. Um, like, look at all these XLs. C3 Master Unit. That's one of the things we didn't have. So that, I guess that vehicle has, oh, they got battle computer ranged. Look at all these battle computer stuff. Headshot. I don't think we can not take that. Battle computer range. Increase of 10% range. Minus 50. Uh, see, this, is, this would be good on our short, like those AC-20s. The light AC-20s that only have a 300 meter range. Adding this on, then a pilot with 10%, and then I don't know what else. But that's, that's that could be big. That could be that could be not game changing, but it'd be good. Battle computer minimum range. That's kind of I mean, man. Tracking. It's nice. Ballistic criticals tags. Um, it's a pair of snub nose PPCs. MRM thirty. Damn man, why did why does it have to be? Okay, we already know what's up there. Uh, we got the Streak MRM-40. be nice to have a backup one of these, but these snub those PPCs are nice too. These could go on the awesome. Um, no battle computers though, eh? Did I pass one down here? I don't think I did. Oh, we did. We don't have any. See, this would work really well on the Warhammer with a headshot. I'm thinking that's what we're doing. I don't know how often we're going to see the Heavy Goss. And it's nice to have a backup in case something happens to the Black Knight. We'll be able to replace it. And the same thing with the ammo, right? Having the extra ammo is always nice. I, I mean how we, we rarely ever see this thing so let's just grab it so we have it now we might see it moving forward but right now I think we're gonna grab it just so that we have it I mean we could have done four XLs for the C bills that would have been 1.3 million right there but I think this is fine well, we might get one of these in the uh, loot, loot table down here we'll see so we got the arrow two one shots now what's the weight on these one ton really Let's hang on to those. Medium lasers can go. Got the two snub nose. These guys can go. Battle computer critical. Beautiful. That's nice. Standard fire controls can go. Heavy ferro. I think we've got we've got three, so we can just sell these. Reflective coating. I've got one. So here's the thing: is I don't like trading off increased resistance versus energy based attacks and minus 10 resistance to ballistic and missile missile attacks now missile attacks yeah okay not that's such a big deal but ballistic is huge if you get hit with a heavy gauss taking 10 percent more damage or even an ac20 taking 10 percent more damage for that 20 percent resistance to like what medium lasers and and it, like most of the time we're facing medium lasers those are those odd times where we're facing something big but i don't know we've got one we don't need it i don't uh, let's hang on to it. What the hell? I'm going to hang on to these. I don't think we're going to need them, but I'm going to hang on to them. Wow. Cooling this, like, that's nice. Superchargers. Two superchargers. I'm going to hang on to those. MRM incendiary we can hang on to. And SRM half loads. We've got one. We don't need these. So we did, we did okay. I think that's a pretty good haul on this one. All right. 10,000. Yeah, it's beautiful. Base defense is always, like, just a win. Um, okay, so I'm going to jump. We got 4.2 million right now. I'm going to jump, um, and we'll have, what, 2.5 left after that? Uh, do I want to stay and do one more? Do we have something we could do with, like, Pony Express is what, ambush convoy in a Martian environment? Who's this versus? Federated Sons. Let's just do it right now. 
We got a whole, we got a we got another lance. I think we can do. I think we can do this. Can't we? I know it's a Martian environment, but I think what we'll do because we're sh not short on pilots, but we're short. We're not even short on mechs, man. Like some of the mechs didn't take any damage. All right, let's do this. We're gonna get in fast and get out. So, uh, hotshot, you're running this, running this shit show. Scramble, we'll put it in second. Um, focus, sledge, and then we'll drop in squire. We're gonna do this fast and metal lark. I know it's gonna be, it's like a lot of mechs and stuff, but we're gonna do it. Like I said, we'll just do it real quick here. So hot shot, let's put. I know we're mixing matching here, but we're gonna put you, because we don't have the uh, Victor available. We're gonna put you in the Warhammer because uh, you're more accurate than anybody else. Scramble, you're staying in the Archer because screw you. Um, focus, gonna give you the Goss. Gonna give you that. Lance two. Uh, we're going to bring the avatar and we're also going to bring the longbow. Let's do it this way. All right. Okay, let's do this fast and get out of here. All right, so that is where they are. Oh, we're supposed to move to there to see them. Oh, I know where we are. Oh, we're starting on the opposite side of this one. <gasps> We're going to be right on these guys. Okay, so normally with this map, you start off... I thought it was this map. You start off on this side, right here. And the vehicles come along here, down here, and then head over here. So normally when I fight, I come across this way and cut them off here, right? The only reason why I do this is because if they're fast, at least we'll get a chance to see them here and kill them before they get out off the map. But now we're on this side and we're up a hill. These guys are dead. Like literally, I don't, it doesn't matter what they've got in the convoy. They're, it's, it's over for them. Um, we should get locks right here. I get you on the move. No, really. All right, we're gonna get both of these fast guys down here. Moving out. And the avatar is going to go with them because it's the MRM build. Longbow can stay up here. There they are. See, I knew they were there. Here they come. So they got convoy escorts and hover tank convoy. Look at this. Fulcrum, fulcrum. Are those are the, are those the escorts or are those the? Uh... Oh, he shot his own guy. I don't know if you saw that. He, sh he t shot and tagged his own guy. Thanks for helping us out, guy. So these must be the guards. Nice. Barely a hit, Commander. Yeah, the guy behind you got hit. So I probably should have got a lot of XP that last mission, plus the jump. I think we're getting 50, is it 50 now per day XP per pilots up to a certain point. So some of the lower pilots will get a bunch of XP as we jump to, oh shit, that guy's going to die. Okay, he's got a PPC, that's not bad. Searchlight affected, eh? Snub those PPC, alright, well. Ready for order. Let's just straight up attack the convoy. This guy's got a this guy's a missile vehicle, so man, we, we don't got sight on him though. Screw it, we're just gonna shoot him because he's got to go. Scored a critical hit. Man, we do 60 damage per shot. Is that a convoy member? It is. I think that's a convoy member. Yeah. Yep. Let's 
Let's get here. Got to spread out a little bit because that guy's, this guy's going to be dropping uh, shit on us. There's two artillery tanks. Artillery spotter. Scout. I don't know. This guy got hit in this side, eh? It's awfully far away. Okay, let's just take the best chance to hit here to do as much damage as we can. We have dead fire. We do. That's not bad. Hmm. That could be a kill though on this guy. It will be a kill on this guy if we shoot this artillery tank. At least I hope. Um. You know what? I think that's what we do. We got such a bad chance to hit right now. I'm gonna leave one of these. Actually, let's yeah, let's leave one of these off so we don't overheat, so we can move still. Fire everything on this guy. Come on. There you go. Look at that. See ya. Target destroyed. We'll pick up your pieces on the moon. No, here he comes back to Earth. Boom. <laughs> and then and then someone gets out life of Brian like you lucky bastard if you guys have seen Monty Python uh, life of Brian it was just that that was so brilliant oh fuck this guy you're taking the fucking longbow buddy We gotta get on that guy. Ah, I'm not there. Gotta get on that guy up there, though. These bushwalkers still aren't that bad. Copy that. They're doing their job. It's turned into one of my favorite 55 ton max, the bushwhacker. It's just pretty awesome, I gotta say. The variety of loadouts and stuff with these things. The speed, like everything is just so good on them. Did that guy over there disappear? No, he's still, okay, he's still there. We got an MRM 40 coming up here in a second. I think the longbow is going to go on the other artillery vehicle. Gotta kill that guy. Okay. Full speed it is. Still got a gas rifle left, but I don't want to waste it on this guy down here unless I have to. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna leave these off so we're not too heated. But we'll let the ultra go with two. Got a hit, nice. Beautiful. Hope they're all, hopefully they're all mechs. Just gotta over here and flank these guys a little bit. Get some jamming going. Target this guy. Here it comes. Nice hits. Ready to rock. I don't think you should move. I think you should just stay right there. Give us the best chance to hit. And let's go to Artemis. For the best chance to hit and hammer this guy. I got you. Weird. The first one was an orange four. Didn't really do anything though. Oh. I'm showing my damage. Is that missile artillery? Okay, maybe it's just got LRMs. Fair enough. Okay, we got... So this guy's got to be a convoy member, and this guy's a convoy member. And these are the guards. Because the convoy members don't deviate from the path. 
So that fulcrum's got to go down fast. Screw these guys, I mean. Really? What are they going to do? You know what I'm saying? They're pretty quick, though. Anyway, I record, I'm recording this episode at the same time I recorded the last episode. Um, just because I need to get a couple... Well, what the hell am I talking about? It's the same episode. <laughs> Sorry, guys. My brain is mush. I, You know, too much work. Too much freaking work. They're looking at getting me a junior now, too, which is nice. Someone just to absorb all the extra work I've got. Like all the little things that I just don't want to have to be bothered with that I have to do. Just so I can focus on the major jobs. It's kind of really... It's tough. We've got some good freelancers that are working for us, too, which is nice. Like, really competent people. It's always nice to have that. You know that you got there's a, there's a job that comes in you can't do. They pass it off to a competent freelancer. You just don't have to worry about it. You know it's going to be good. You know? And they're the kind of freelancers that you can learn stuff from, too. Those are the ones I love the best. It's like, you know, you, you know your job. You know it really well. But then there's always those little facets that... that those new little nuances that you can pick up from other people that help you do your job even better, which is great. And those those are the kind of freelancers I love that you know they they do the work for you. And you're like looking at their work and you're like, oh man, what a great idea! I see how you did that. I see how you did that. Yes, command. You know, that's that. Those are the kind of freelancers I love. All right, let's get into here. Let's give this guy a little bit of love. Ooh, one hit. I'm happy even with one of the two hitting. Especially at that low percentage chance. It's nice. But yeah, as I was saying, those, you know, having those uh, quality freelancers are just awesome. I started off my career as freelance and I just couldn't do it. I started working on a TV series and it was just like, I was working nights, I was pulling the night shift, working 10 hours at night for like six months straight. I just couldn't do it anymore. I was just like, I'm done. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> Sorry. There's just no way. And then I got my current job, which is awesome. And I've had this job for like 22 years now, which is just, just, I love it. The people I work with are fantastic. You know, for the most part, the clients are fantastic, which is great. You know, you, you're always going to find people that you're not going to work well with, right? Um, but the people that I've worked with are, have all been good, so. These guys are flanking. Okay. Um, let's keep moving this way, but we're going to shoot at one of these on vehicles over here. That's pretty darn good. Drillson, huh? I think that's the biggest threat though, right? Drillson? Saladin's got a snub. Artillery spotter. Couple of clan ER mediums, eh? Clan streak? Clan streaks sell for a lot. That's the fulcrum. Forget that. We're going to go after one of these guys. Clan smalls. Streaks. Large and two identified missiles, probably SRMs. 416. This could probably be a kill if we hit the same area. So let's hammer this guy hard and hope we get the kill on him. Ooh, split the damage between two mechs. We don't even have multi target. What the hell? <laughs> How often does that happen? Shit, you gotta catch that guy, guys. Come on. Let him get away. Gotta tell you though, Good to go. I'm really looking forward to this summer being over. I know most people are like, feel like they've got they've been ripped off the summer because of COVID and everything, but I'm ready for the summer to be done and let's get to fall. Hopefully, get a sense of normality back in my life again. Like it's a pain because this attic is so hot, right? Oh man, we gotta we gotta really run that guy down. 
This attic is so hot and I can't, uh... I can't, um... Do a lot of recording and stuff and... There's like lots of times when I can and I just... I, it's just too hot to be able to turn the AC off and... Oh, nice shot. Was that an explosion? Yep, beautiful. Oh, you got him. Nice shot. But I'm, I'm sure you guys know what I'm saying. It's like, you know, you want to do stuff and it's just so damn hot. And I, I you know, I, I got to leave my AC off and to be able to do recording. But I can't do it because it's just too hot. Let's go this route. Let's leave this. And let's go after the drill son. Hopefully we get a, can get a kill on this guy. Yep. A little overkill, but... There is no overkill, just kill. There is no overkill, just kill. Okay, Larky, um, let's back it up a little bit. Uh, not that far. Here. Just so those guys can't really get behind you that well. And let's drop some missiles on this guy. And hopefully we can finish up... Finish up the convoy. We get him? Yeah, we did. Beautiful. So now the convoy is gone. Now I can send those three down. Maybe we send the archer with them, but we can send them down to engage the enemy that's just dropped in. So that'll be my goal. These vehicles down here are just going to be like... Shred, Hotshot can just shred, probably shred all of these guys by himself. Let's get on this guy because we've already damaged him. Um, let's leave one of these off, get some heat back. That should do it. Yep. Look at this thing, man. You <laughs> think the way it looks, I know that I know it's venting the heat off and over to the side so it doesn't, you know, whatever burn the back of this guy or whatever or burn a mech behind it. But it they look like kind of like massive jump jets or like it's ready to take off into space. Anyway. Nice. Who else is next? What are we, 19? So the guy's... Oh, is he moving? Might be moving. I'm glad it wasn't the AC-20 Saladin. These guys are going to take a while to get to us, though. Yeah, they should... That's our drop. They came down here. So let's make our way over this rock here. Don't worry about those guys. Let's see if we can get some sensors on. Hopefully the next series that I do can be a little bit more realistic, like I said, with vehicles and stuff. Um, yeah, it's fast. Fast enough. But like, you know... We'll have the light recon lances and things like that where we can just recon areas and then we'll send in the heavy guys and have different missions where we're doing different things like that. You know, the main lance will be doing most of the fighting, like I would probably say about 60 to 80 percent. And then the other lances, like the other groups and stuff, will be just like, you know, picking up stuff. And if, if people are finding that the, you know, vehicle, like a straight up vehicle lance is boring or whatever that, what I'll do is I'll just do the fight and then add some highlights into a um, one of the other videos so that at least we can see what happened in the battle, you know, what we picked up, that, that kind of thing, right? Just to add a little bit more realism. Like we don't have to do, like, like I know it's a lot of work and it might be, like, less videos than what, what we're doing right now. Right here. Mm -hmm. Let's get you... far as we can get you and still shoot. Confirmed. I get that AMS forward, I think. Um, yeah. Guess I'll give it to him, man. Nice shot. But, you know, we'll just see how it goes. I I'm really interested to hear what you guys think about it. Confirmed. Kind of been holding off, like, you know, talking about it, but... Um... 
Let's hold off on the incendiary. And let's just go for a straight up kill on this guy. I want the incendiary in case they dropped in mechs. That should do it. Yep, yeah, he's gone. So much for that, See ya. Guy. Yeah, what can I do you for? It's always five bucks, buddy. Double time. Let's Still go. five bucks. All right, at least we lost our heat in those guys. Okay, we got an Ostrock. Sorry, we got some mech parts. Good to go. That's what I should be saying. I'm going to reserve these guys up front, though. Just in case anything else comes into view here. Receiving you. Ready to get it on. Um... Let's see if we can do a kill here. Same attack. Firing on target. Yep, there it is. Boom, you did. One for the scrap heap. I'm liking the loadout on this Warhammer. It's 80 tons, I know. It seems like we're using up a lot of resources for that, but still, I don't really care. Oh, an Apollo. Maybe we'll pick up some good ammo. Full speed, minefield on the way, because of course there is. You got hit with a minefield. Well, Hauling ass. we'll take the three points damage. The mines just aren't worth it. Even with like an LRM-60. What's up, Commander? Uh, let's reserve. Holding for tactical advantage. Orders. Um, let's move you first. Full speed, no shoot. Got it. Now, we don't have a good chance to hit. Yeah, we're going to hold off shooting. I don't want to overheat and lose some movement. We'll just take that run. That's the thing I'm worried about is losing the movement, right? How's it going? I don't want to reserve too, too much and lose too much initiative for next round. Although we are, we are at full vigilance, so we're going to use some of that. Ooh, what else got here? Apollo. Oh, an Orion. I still love calling it that. All right. Um, let's go after the easy target. Okay, a little bit of internal damage. That's nice. Man, those, ah, that's such a good pairing, the three, me oh, another Orion. Those medium X pulses with the, um, with the MRMs, or it's a nice grouping, like for direct fire, for direct suppression fire. It's just, it's working out really well. Let's not get you, maybe there, a little less man. chance to shoot your own guy in the back. We are going to shoot after this guy, though. 34, huh? Maybe not. 54 on the Orion, though. Let's go after this guy. With okay, one of the things hit. That's nice. That's nice. Skipper. Sprint your ass down there, buddy. They are... In range with what? That's, uh, okay. Sure. Sure! Okay, Ostrox committing suicide. Ooh, two larges, two mediums. I thought I only had two larges. Maybe, I, I guess I'm wrong. Oh, it looks like it's got a, um... It dropped heat. It might have one of those, um... Oh shit, did I really just do that? I did. Thinking, sorry, not thinking while I'm acting. Ah, my field probably. I'm meant to do this. Commander. Yeah, the Ostrak might, might have one of those um, prototype double heatsink kits to, that drop the heat. 
Wow, really? Oh, it's dead fire. That's why. Um, yeah, sure, might as well fire the MRM. Alright, not bad. Got a little bit of damage. That guy's got some pretty good movement, man. At least we'll pick up some Orion parts if, if we can't find anything else that we need. Fuck this guy up. Giving him everything I've got. Should take that arm, yep. I think the larges are in the arms, mediums are in the CT. Target's taking a critical hit. Yes, Commander. Well sprint, buddy. Wow, you got range on these guys still, like even from back here. We're not gonna shoot though. Oh for Christ's sake, really? We're gonna drop our heat so we can get a little closer, I think. Well, you know what we could do is like that's like even 10% from back here. Let's fire one because we can. Firing. Eh. Meh. Reporting negative damage. Yeah. Uh, yep. This looks a little closer. Marginally. Now. We drop it here, and hopefully we get we get both those guys. Because if anything, I want to try and pull the Orion's legs off, at least both of them, so we can get some good salt. We can get at least Orion parts if we don't get anything else that's good. I know there's a few clan weapons that I wouldn't mind picking up, but if we can get Orion pieces, we'll take that. That's a good assembly and sell. Okay, let's get you into this guy. Ooh, you missed with the goss. You missed with everything. Really? Dude. What's up with that? Ready for order. Oh, hopefully don't you don't miss. Now I'm gonna do this. Cause this guy always seems to be slow. So let's get him up here. I want this Ostrock out of my way here. Little hot. Um, let's drop it down to one. We only got 24%. What's the chance on the Orion? 27. Lower missile chance. Let's go out to this guy, see if we can take him out. All right. Straight flush. Still gonna push it, eh? Hit with that large. I gotta say, I'm missing the firing and maneuvering, that's for sure. He's like super heated, that guy. He did take a little bit of leg damage, it looked like. Did take a little leg leg damage, I think. Got something you want done? If I had something I wanted done, I'd do it myself. Whoa ha 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 ha! I'm so funny. All right, okay, we at least got one guy into uh, AMS range now. It's nice. Let's get on this guy. Uh, all right, I don't think we're gonna get a kill on him because we're on the wrong side, but we can superheat him anyway. Well, not super heat him, but we'll get some heat on him anyway. Stop him from shooting a little more next turn. Good to go. Um. Double time. Let's now, go. how much are we take him from that minefield? A couple points. Two. Yeah. Okay, targeting this guy. Wow, that's really. Really? It's not even a direct line of sight. It's broken line of sight. At this range, it's like still 48% chance to hit. 
Oh, I only got one on him. No biggie. That's crazy, man. Yeah, I'm loving that Warhammer. Those four ER mediums, or ER larges, I mean. It's such a good build. Yeah, what can I do you for? Let's get into here. Heading out. I don't think he's got a good cluster bonus, so we're just going to shoot this guy. Oh, nice leg hit. Okay. Yeah, we need we definitely need targeting computers, like big time. Oh, he's making a break for it. Nice. Oh, he took 20 damage from the mines? Really? He's taking a lot of leg damage. I know they can all see you up here, but it's fine. We're good. Trust me. I think we want to go after this guy. Okay, two hits. Clustered arms, unfortunately. Yep. You know what you can do. Let's get into here. Now, I think... Oh, that's the Apollo. Oh, shoot. I thought I was targeting... Okay, well... I thought I, I thought that was the Orion, the blue line on the Orion, but... Ooh! Goes the left torso. So I guess the lasers are in the torsos, eh? That's alright. Alright. All right, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and minefield this Orion again. If we're getting 20 damage per minefield, if he decides to move forward, he might through move through two of them again and make it easier for us to pull his legs off. Now they're not. Are you kidding? Not in that thing. Oh, one almost into the second minefield. Now that looked like 19 to me. Oh, 13. Okay. What was... Who... You could... That was a little... Okay. That's... Okay. Sure. Well, I can actually walk up this hill? This is crazy. I love this game. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we can get from up here. Might as well. That's not a bad shot. That's pretty good. That's deadly good. That's a, probably a kill shot. I think we're going to go... Let's start on this guy. Look at the chance in the legs, man. Yeah, man. Now we'll get the second one out there with the Gauss Rifle. Try to pull his leg off. Okay, the Ostrox pretty much out of the battle. Yes, He's like, why can't you go up there? Oh, you can. Hey, let's see what this baby can do. Alright, now. Just look at the chance to hit. That's crazy. Yeah, OP this guy's leg, man. Let's take the leg. There it is. Have a seat, buddy. Oh, breach check. Ow. <laughs> the cut to him yeah. falling was brilliant. Alright, you're going after the Ostrock. Yep. You got incendiaries up, right? Yeah, you do. Let's keep this guy so he can't do anything. Here you go. She's just really up here for the AMS anyway. Um, uh, who's next? What's up, Commander? Squire. I 
on the move. Yeah, this guy needs a targeting computer big time. Did we just kill this guy? He's got a larger medium still. Alright, let's go after this guy. Because fuck him. 97% chance to hit, and that leg would be... I don't know what it is. It's going to be good. 60 probably. Okay, one leg hit. Don't blow him up. Ah, damn you. Well. Target neutralized. Sure. Well, we've got a few of them. What are your orders, Skipper? Full speed ahead. Fire till they're dead. Shoot them in the head. Okay, we're gonna go incendiary. Let's drop it on this guy. Yeah. What's up, boss? I copy. Yeah, imagine a targeting computer headshot in this thing. It's going to be crazy. Like, at that range, OP is like 42, still 42% 42 chance. One leg hit. Nice. Alright, what are they doing? AMS definitely working overtime today. Commander. Let's walk it. Coordinates received. Same thing. Now this guy down to 36, 73. I don't I think we've got to go after the well, let's go after this leg. Taking the shot. There we go. Two leg hits. I'm worse worried about going into the torso and blowing him up, but he's going down. We got Gauss, X pulses, and lasers up here, so we should be able to pull that other leg, I think. I'll leave the MRMs What's off. This guy's the big threat. I'm gonna go after this. The three X pulses firing. God. Wow, really? Dude! You're not gonna get much better chance than that. Light damage. Holding firm. Commander. Get that AMS up here. I telling it, yes I am. Let's go up to this guy. What the better chance to hit, I think. Maybe it'll distract him. Ready for order. I doubt it, but it might. Okay, pinpoint that leg. There's the leg hit. Two leg hits. Nice. So that's gone through. Yeah. Let's end this guy. Mech destroyed. Just wanted to let him know there that we could have killed him at any time. Acknowledge, Commander. You know, we selectively decided to wait to kill him. Alright, this guy's got no heat. He's got two medium X pulses, though. MML9 Infernos. Um, we got regular Thunder. Hydra ammo, too. Let's go with that, 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 that. We got any chaff on him? Didn't look like we did. It's kind of bizarre. Okay, the Warhammer should be able to pull this dude's leg off. Ooh, what, one, one point damage from uh, landmines. Orders. Let's just 
F this guy up. Order. Okay, take his leg, please. Wow, really, eh? Lower chance to hit? Roger that. Nothing, really. I didn't hit. I know, that's what I was thinking too. He had such a great chance before, and now all of a sudden he fall he gets up from falling and Oh right, because you know what? No, never mind. He was lying down, I think, when we had the better really great chance to hit. Here you go. Right here. You're gonna make him explode, aren't you? Guy's on drugs, so let's hammer him. I'm on him. Tained, right leg gone. Should take another pilot hit, right? Yeah, down to three. Okay. Who's left? All right, scramble. Not so good. Let's not... Oh, man. It's a hard choice. Let's go this route. Okay, a couple leg hits. Panicking bailout? Oh, I didn't bail out. Receiving you. Now you got him. Come on, buddy. Let's hope we get that leg. Copy that. One hit? Two hits. That should do it. Three hits. Leg leg gone? Leg gone? Target neutralized. Yeah, this whole side went, but. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, want to try and get as much salvage from this mech as we can. Oh, head hit. Nice. How's it going? Same thing. Going after the head. Firing on target. Headshot. Yeah, pile of lethal damage. Beautiful. Alright, so we got a good chance for salvage here. Mission successful. Alright. 40% increase, 355. That should be enough to cover our damages. No, no problem at all. And yeah, some pretty good sal pretty good uh, experience points for the lower level pilots. Yeah, really good experience for these guys. Beautiful. Now, C bills. Oh, they're disputing it? They want the prototype double heat sink kit, LRM Delta. They want the Apollo parts. Oh, you can have them, man. I don't want them. Prototype heat They're going to put two prototype heat sink kits in, ex in exchange for the Apollo parts? Are you fucking crazy? I'll take that. Wow. It's all yours, buddy. Now, we could take Orion parts. In which case we'd have enough to uh, for sure to make an Orion. What's the VA version? Sacrificing armor removes the LRM 15 heat management. Eh. Oh, instead of sacrificing armor, I see. Okay. Meh. Integrated laser AMS. I think we still got. Well, we don't have one. I, uh, where did I put this? Thought we had one kicking around. Now, okay. Here we go. Inter integrated laser AMS. That goes in the CT, right? So the integrated one on overload deals four damage to missiles. Overload AMS fires up to 20, sh sh 20 shots per activation. 
overload 90 AMS range, which I believe means that it will fire on anybody in it w that's within that 90 meter range. I'm pretty sure that's the case. Advanced AMS protects teammates and allies. Yeah, on overload. Yeah, I knew that was that would that was the case. And that's what I've got on one of my mechs. Is the advanced AMS? It's on the um, ah god, I think it's in the longbow. But anyway, that's a possibility. I'm gonna just leave it there for now. Um, pair of medium X pulses. We've got three of them though, so I don't think we need those. We've got some of those PPCs still. Clan streaks, I don't think we're gonna use. There are three tons SRM sixes though. Hopefully we get some case. I'm not gonna choose that though. XL light engine. That could go into use. Now Artemis systems we don't need. Multi-track we don't need. XL gyro we do need. We definitely need that. Uh, and they put these separate. Oh, six prototypes in one bundle. We're gonna take all six, that's for sure. And do we take the, the prototype double heatsink kits? I don't have any at the moment. I know we can definitely use them. I'm gonna, I'll take one. Regular arrow ammo. We've got nine. Guided, we've got one, I think, right? Yeah. LRM stuff, no. M uh, taking ammo at this point would be a m waste of uh, a pick. The light engine, though, I know we can definitely get use out of that. Like, maybe we go that route. As much as some of this other stuff might be nice, these are, these will go right into a mech for sure, because we're we're saving sea bills for this. So these can go into a mech. Maybe the uh, the new uh, Black Knight can take these. Prototype double heatsink kit and prototype double heatsinks could go in the Black Knight as well. So that would be a direct upgrade. The Orion, eh, I mean, if we get the parts, great. If we don't, we don't. I think we go this route. Okay, we got two Orion parts and the integrated laser AMS. Beautiful. Large lasers can go. LRM-10 can go. Medium lasers can go. MML-9s. I think we're past the point of using these guys. and We've got two of them already. <sighs> Streak 4. If it was a clan Streak 4, we would hold on to it, but it's not. Guardian ECM. Let's hold on to that. LRM dead fire half ton. We'll hold on to the half ton. LRM swarm. We got three. We don't need that. Uh, half ton of acid. We'll hang on to because we don't have any half tons. And it's really nothing like cost wise per month, like 255 C bills a month. Um, yeah, I think we'll go that route. All right, 84,000 in repairs. That's fine. That's fine. We took a few hits. I'm not going to complain for what we got out of that. All right, so now we're going to jump systems uh, between episodes. So we're we're at what nine days to the financial report. I'll try and find some, something in a nice short jump. We got a while to get before the victor is back. Anyway, it's ten days. Everything else will be back by then, and I'll see what we can do about maybe upgrading the um, the uh, other Black Knight. I think that one should probably be up, upgraded first. Although I think we're missing a lot of weapon systems for it, so I might hold off. I don't know. Maybe I'll hold off. We'll see how it goes. But before we end this episode, let's go to the mech bay just to see if we've got enough Orion parts now to put an Orion together. I think we probably do. I mean, that may be better than an awesome. I don't know. Heavy mech, we do. Orion V. we got a lot of Orion parts. VA is base tech 10. Or wait, so items recovered 76%, item repair 79. One ballistic, two miss or two laser and three missile. Is there Yeah, we're still waiting to get um these uh, Warhammer parts here too. Let's hold off assembling it. I mean, we could assemble it with the old Orion parts. We've got two of them here. Um 
and see what we get. But I think we'll hold off for now because we, we want we want sea bills, so we're gonna hold off. It's not really costing us that much to leave them in storage. So, all right, I'm gonna end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a bit of a long one, but that's all right. Um, if you enjoyed it, please drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.